I've got all to do except sit and wait. Well, I don't know, sir. We could, uh, we could have a jolly game of charades. Oh, yes. And uh, sing along of musical hits like Birmingham Bertie and uh, <laughs> Whoops, Mrs. McGinsey, all sitting on my artichokes. <laughs> yes, I think bugger all might be rather more fun. <laughs> Permission to ask a question, sir? Permission granted, Borwick, as long as it isn't the one about where babies come from. <laughs> no, the thing is, the way I see it, these days there's a war on, right? And ages ago there wasn't a war on, right? So there must have been a moment when there not being a war on went away, right? And there being a war on came along. So what I want to know is... <laughs> How did we get from the one case of affairs to the other case of affairs? Do you mean, how did the war start? <laughs> yeah. The war started because of the vile Hun and his villainous empire building. George, the British Empire at present covers a quarter of the globe, while the German Empire consists of a small sausage factory in Tanganyika. <laughs> I hardly think that we can be entirely absolved from blame on the imperialistic front. Uh, oh, no. No, sir. Absolutely not. Man's a bicycle. <laughs> I heard that it started when a bloke called Archie Duke shot an ostrich because he was hungry. <laughs> I think you mean it started when the Archduke of Austro-Hungary got shot. <laughs> no, there was definitely an ostrich involved, sir. <laughs> well, possibly. But the real reason for the whole thing was that it was just too much effort not to have a war. By gum, this is interesting. I always loved history. A Battle of Hastings, Henry VIII and his six knives, all that. <laughs> you see, Baldick, in order to prevent war in Europe, two super blocks developed. Us, the French and the Russians on one side, and the Germans and Austro-Hungary on the other. The idea was to have two vast opposing armies, each acting as the other's deterrent. That way, there could never be a war. But this is a sort of a war, isn't it, sir? Yes, that's right. You see, there was a tiny flaw in the plan. What was that, sir? It was bollocks. <laughs> so the poor old ostrich died for nothing. 